How's it going Guardian? Shifty here and I'm back with another solo Grandmaster Disgraced run. This time I'm going to be doing it on a Titan. For this one I am going to be using the same weapons I used in my Warlock run but this time I'm going to be offering commentary as well. Before I get into my loadout for this one if you end up enjoying the video make sure to hit that like button and if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe as well. So I have to be entirely honest, I don't think Titans have very good supers for soloing this Grandmaster, so I went with Bottom Tree Sunbreaker, and I paired that with a Thermite Grenade, and for my exotic I'm using Hollow Fire Heart. This exotic makes it so I get my solar abilities back faster, and I get them back extremely fast when my super is ready. If you checked out my Warlock run you should be familiar with my weapons, I went with Wither Horde for the Unstoppable Champions and to apply Breach and Clear. I have the Pleiades Corrector Solar Scout Rifle for Solar Shields and for Barrier Champions. Then I have the Sub-Zero Salvo Arc Rocket Launcher and this is for Arc Shields and for a little bit of burst damage. And then for my armor mods I'll quickly show you each piece of armor and if you need to see anything in more detail just pause the video. And that's all there is to my loadout for this one. Now, let's jump into it. Alright, for those of you who checked out my Warlock Chaos Reach run, I will be using the same exact weapons for this run. This time I will have commentary even though I didn't have it in my Warlock run though. So I went for the enemies on the left because there were no champions over there shielding those enemies. Ideally, this servitor will end up in the corner and then I'll be able to take it out from there. So this is the ideal positioning I have for champions in this room. Two rockets should be enough to take it out alongside my grenade and wither horde on it. I'm trying to get wither horde up there because I know there's going to be shanks spawning any minute. There they are. Gonna be some more coming down, and then after the shanks, there will be some invisible marauders which will rush in that same door. Wither Horde should do quite a bit of work in this scenario. That Marauder kind of aggressively tracked me, but luckily it doesn't do enough damage to one-shot me right now. I still have one Barrier Servitor in the room right now, and it's shielding a bunch of enemies in the center of the room, so I have to be careful for them. Let's see if I can take out some of the enemies on the left again. So this is where it gets tricky, you have to watch out for the enemies that are being shielded by the Barrier Servitor, but at the same time you have to take out the Barrier Servitor. With that in mind, I decided to go for the enemies on the right hand side of the room here. Since I was over here, the barrier champion decided it was also going to come over here. Since the barrier champion is off to the right, I'll be able to take out some enemies in the middle of the room and the left side of the room.
For some reason, I can't hit my Wither Horde shot on this Vandal. Only took a few times. Now I'm going to hang out on the right side of this room since I cleared it out. This should make it a little bit easier to go for this champion now. Fortunately, I took out enough adds so that the next champion and more adds spawned. So that was a close one. I kind of panic supered, but this will be good for clearing out any of the adds that are shielded by the barrier surges. As you can see, you can still damage them even if they're barriered. That's the good thing about supers in that circumstance. So the newly spawned barrier servitor will make its way into this room eventually, so I might just wait for that. Here it comes. I've cleared out enough enemies that I should be a little bit safer to push out like this. And that servitor is down, so I still have one more barrier servitor. Off to the left there this time. If I do this right, I might be able to take it out, depending on how many enemies pop out and shoot at me. Alright, that worked out pretty well. Alright, so I got a decent amount of ammo from that room, but now I can move on to the next area. So I want to try to take out at least one or two Vandals right away. That will make taking out this champion significantly easier. This is a decent angle. Basically, I stick behind this pillar to try to take these enemies out. So now I'm going to go for this champion that's just outside here. Alright, now I just have to clear out the ads in the area. I'm going to kind of focus on these wizards since they're probably the biggest threat out there. I just go for whatever enemies I see, so if the wizards end up hiding, I just go for the acolytes if I can. So it looks like some of the cursed thrall already spawned, which is fine. My wither horde should prevent them from getting too far. And I believe there should be some arc shielded knights coming up the ramp right now. There they are. So these guys will dodge my tracking rocket if I'm not careful. That one worked out quite well. And I was actually able to take those knights out fairly quickly. Sometimes it can be a problem, but this time it was easy. We've got to clear some more accolades out. And then after that, I'm going to have some thrall spawn as well as two more arc shielded knights that are melee knights.
They should be coming up the ramp any second now. There they are. So unfortunately I am out of arc rockets, so I'm going to have to take out this knight using my wither horde and grenades and things like that. It's going to take a little bit longer, but I will get the job done. There we go, and it dropped me plenty of special ammo. I'm going to try to take out a couple more of these Acolytes here and then go for the two Shriekers. Now you can stick back a little ways here and the Shriekers won't shoot at you. If you push too far forward, they will end up shooting at you and that will persist even if you come back in the building. You'll have to go all the way to the back of the building and wait a little bit to reset them so you can safe spot them. Unfortunately, I only found one brick of primary ammo. Since I'm getting low on primary ammo again, I'm going to try to get a Wither Horde shot on this Shrieker over here. There we go. We'll let that do its damage. And let's try to get another one out there. There we go, that should be enough to take it out. Now I'm going to rush forward to grab some ammo, and then I'm going to take on those two champions on the platforms. I'm trying to toss some Wither Horde there where there's some Acolytes. There we go. And now I'm going to go for the champions. Unfortunately, I knocked this champion off the platform and it'll probably bury her back there like it just did. Which means it's going to heal. What I should have done is not use the second rocket on it. So for this one, I'm only going to use one rocket at a time, even though I don't have that many rockets left. In fact, I'm just going to save that last rocket because I may need it for the arc shield tonight that I'm going to fight after these champions. That means I'll have to go the tedious way and just use my scout rifle. As you can see, it takes quite a while, but it does get the job done. I need some more primary ammo. I have to try to use Wither Horde because I don't think I have enough primary ammo to take this knight out by itself. So what I did is I placed one Wither Horde on it, then stunning it will knock it off and hopefully it jumps back up before it shields. Alright, I did get a line of sight on it before it shielded, which is great.
with the amount of ammo I have currently, it'll be cutting it close. I may just have to use my rocket to ensure that I take this one out. I'm going to go ahead and do it. Alright, so my next priority is going to be the Acolytes in the area. Unfortunately, all I have right now is Wither Horde. I know there's primary ammo right in front of me, but there's also Acolytes over there as well. I don't really have a choice but to try to rush forward and grab this ammo. There's even a little bit of heavy ammo, which is great, because I'll need it for this Arc Shield at night, which I'm going to go for next. That Arc Shield at night can sometimes make this part a lot more difficult, so I'm glad I got it out of the way right now. So I'm just trying to weaken one of the knights here real quick. I should easily be able to take this one out now. There we go. And just one barrier knight left. That was lucky with the horde shot. And the area is finally cleared out. Run around and grab any ammo quick. I'm reading hive signatures in a facility up and time to move on. I don't like this. It feels like a trap. So for these next two barrier servitors right here, I'm going to stick towards the back of the room so the wretches don't push me. And I'll just take one of the barrier champions out at a time. There is a sniper vandal in the back, so you have to be careful for that. There should be one more vandal back there as well. There it is. And it looks like I'll be maxed on ammo when I head into the next area, which is great. I have just a little bit of running to do here. We're close now. She won't escape this time. Retreat isn't an option for her anymore. Not with the brood. So here we are at the first encounter with Novoda in the strike. I'm going to break the shield first. Then some enemies will spawn, and I'm going to throw a wither horde and a grenade on them. This should clear out quite a few of the thrall. I actually did a decent amount of damage to the Barrier Knight, but I doubt I'll be able to finish it over there, so I'll probably have to wait until they get over to me. All 
right, I'm going to try to isolate one of these barrier knights. It looks like one's pushing into this room, which is kind of good. Then it backed right back out again. Luckily, I still have an angle on it. I'm just going to use two rockets on it so I take it out immediately. Instead of trying to conserve ammo there, I just wanted to take care of one of those champions right away. Champion is down. Now there might be a couple Thrall hiding behind these containers here. And at this point we're free to damage Navoda. We do have to do some damage to get her to move on. So I'm going to try to debuff her with my Wither Horde there. I'll do most of the damage to Navoda with this, but I'm also trying to hit the wizards that are hiding behind that pillar back there. And just like that, when you hear that sound cue, Navoda is ready to move on, so stop damaging her. If you keep damaging her, she might stick around and try to fight you. One wizard down, and the second wizard is down. I think there's a cursed thrall back there. Might be off to the left. There it is. I'm going to try to stun this unstoppable champion. Unfortunately, the thrall pushed too much, and I missed my wither ward on the unstoppable champion. So I'm going to go and take this thrall out, and then I'll go try to stun the champion again. Alright, as you can see, there's a bunch of enemies down low up there, including some Arch Shield and Knights. My goal was to try to take them out, or at least do some damage with that rocket. I guess my main goal here is to try to take out as many enemies up there as I can right now. See if I can get one of the Arc Shield of Knights there. As you can see, there is still one Arc Shielded Orange Bar Knight up there. But instead, I'm going to go for this Barrier Champion up top. So if I hug this back wall, I am out of range of the champion, but I'm not quite out of range of the Arc Shielded Knight. Alright, well I'm trying to get with the Horde on the Knight. At this point, the video is turning into how to consistently miss your Wither Horde shots. Yeah, it's that's going pretty well. Alright, so I'm just going to rock it since I can't hit my Wither Horde apparently. This should get it to shield and maybe remain stationary, and I might be able to hit it with the Wither Horde now. Nope, still can't. Wait for the shield again. 
And there we go. I finally got a Wither Horde near it. Wow, I got another Wither Horde near it. can't really rely on Wither Horde too much anymore. I'm going to try one more shot. I did get it on it. I'm going to wait for the shield here. I almost messed that up with the timing. I'm just going to go ahead and rocket it so I can be done with this champion. Now to take care of this arc shielded one. Alright, that Wither Horde actually should be enough to take it out after that rocket. Perfect. Now there are two barrier champions and several thrall in this little room right in front of me. The key here is to try to get a champion to pop out so I can actually fight it alone without them interchanging just like that. So I, should, all right, so I should get some decent damage off on this barrier knight, but then the other one jumped right in front of me. It's not ideal at all. So at this point, I guess I'm fighting both of them at the same time. It's a little bit risky. As you can see, I almost died doing it. And the other one got a heal off, but I saw that the one behind it was weak, so I prioritized going after that one. My least favorite thing about champions is when they weave in and out and protect one another. Usually happens when you have like two barrier champions grouped together like this. After these thrall, we are ready to start the boss fight. I'm already going to mention now that I'm notoriously bad at hitting my Wither Horde shots on Nevoda. Push forward to spawn Nevoda. There we are, my first missed Wither Horde shot. So for the most part, my strategy with Nevoda is to wait for the solar shield to come up. Then I break it. That stuns her for just a moment and gives you time to get Wither Horde on her if you can aim. As you can see, every time I break the solar shield, I stun her for just a moment, which gives you a window to stick her with Wither Horde. And I hate when she hides, so I'll just emote, I guess. There we go, I finally got one stuck.
So every time she hides and you stuck her with Wither Horde, it's fine because you're still going to do damage to her anyway. Without a damage over time weapon like Wither Horde or Anarchy, this boss fight could be extremely tedious. In my opinion, this boss is basically just a test of your patience. At some point, I will do enough damage to Navoda and she'll go immune. At that point, I need to head down to the lower platform. From there, I'm going to have several adds that I'm going to have to fight before Navoda respawns on the top platform right to my left. This would be going a lot faster if I would actually be getting my Wither Horde shots on Navoda. And she went immune, so I'm going to head down low here. And up to this platform. There are going to be Arc Knights that spawn right here. I'm going to wait till it walks forward. Rocket, and then put Wither Horde. There's going to be another one that spawns when it goes down. I'm going to repeat the process there. And now all of the remaining enemies should be up top. There's going to be a couple of Knights up there, as well as some Acolytes. If you need to, you can just back off this ledge like I did. You can even sneak off to the left and take out a couple of the acolytes from here. I'm going to try to prioritize the knights here. Alright, one of those knights is down. The knight should almost be down here. I'm just going to keep spamming headshots through the barrier. Alright, its shield is back, so I have to go for another rocket. Alright, there should be a couple acolytes here, and then there's going to be an arc shield and knight up in the room to the right. So right up in this room there, there's going to be an Arc Knight. After that knight goes down in just a couple seconds, Navoda will spawn on the upper platform. And since she's up there, we're going to be down here on this lower platform. Anytime I want to damage, I'm just going to head up here. I'm going to place a Wither Horde on the ground. Since I'm going to have grenades frequently, I'm also going to throw a grenade down, and I'm going to try to get a Wither Horde on Navoda. Whenever I get a Wither Horde on Navoda, I'm going to backtrack down to this platform. I'm going to repeat this process, but every once in a while I have to be careful because she will spawn Thrall. So I got a Wither Horde shot on her right there. And as you can see, some Thrall are spawning.
You may have noticed that if you stand on that lower platform down there, it forces all of the thrall to run through a. You may have noticed during that thrall section that on that lower platform, the thrall have to run through a very narrow area, which is great for placing Wither Horde. It's extremely easy to take out the waves of thrall that spawn. And as you can see, more spawn, and I quickly got down to the slower platform again. Again, the thrall were easy enough to deal with. So I'm going to resume my strategy for damaging the Voda. Unfortunately, I didn't hit it with my grenade or my Wither Horde, so I'm going to have to retry again. And back down I go. Sometimes the curse thrall are slow, so you have to be careful and watch out for those coming up from that bottom area. I'm gonna go and grab the special ammo. So up top there, there's a champion on the right hand side as well as some acolytes, which I took out most of. And some acolytes do spawn on the left side. Those ones usually push this bottom area, so you can always back off the ledge to fight these acolytes. Try to grab that special. I didn't quite grab it. Still didn't grab it. While I had the unstoppable champion stun, I figured I'd go for that special ammo. As soon as this champion goes down, we need to make our way back to that top platform. So it went down. The reason you want to get to this top platform is because you will have an unstoppable champion as well as a regular ogre spawn on the lower area. Alright, the regular ogre is down so I can focus on this unstoppable champion. I'm gonna go in there and grab that ammo from earlier. So after this unstoppable champion goes down, I'm going to head back to the lower platform. The Voda will be back up on that top platform. From here, I'm going to resume my damaging strategy from earlier. And again, during this phase, don't forget to look out for any Thrall spawns, just like that.
Gotta look for the cursed thrall coming up. There they are. You can see even when I break the solar shield up there, she gets stunned for a moment, which gives me an opportunity to put Wither Horde on her. Alright, I was not expecting a wave of thrall right then, but I'm just going to wrap around this area and hop up on the platform from here. And just like that, the Thrall were pretty easily taken down, even though I wasn't expecting that wave. I better barricade here because she is hitting me with splash damage. Alright, let's try this again. There we go. And we have another wave of brawl. Eventually we'll weaken Novota enough where she'll move to the bottom area and at that point we're going to want to stand on this platform up here again. So I noticed there was plenty of heavy ammo lying down around this area, so I thought I'd use some rockets on the Voda to speed the process up a little bit. During this section there will be some Cursed Thrall that spawn off to your left, and there's going to be a couple of Arch Shielded Knights that spawn down low. Took one of the Knights out. Basically, for this section, you just have to keep killing enemies until they stop spawning, and then you can resume damaging Nevoda. Thrall, I think I have the area cleared out. I'm gonna head down and grab some ammo. And head back up, and now I'm going to do some damage to Nevoda.
I like I always like to look to my left just in case there's a lone cursed thrall still wandering the area. During this part, after you've done so much damage, another wave of Arc Shielded Knights as well as Cursed Thrall will spawn. I'm gonna try to grab this heavy ammo. I want to try to use some rockets on the boss, but I need to save some for the Arc Shielded Knights during the next wave of enemies. Should be coming any moment now. There they are. I'm gonna place Wither Horde to my left, and rockets at the knights, and fall down below. I imagine there's only a few Cursed Thrall left at this point. And now at this point I believe I'm free to completely take out the boss. So, break the shield. I actually hit the Wither Horde shot which is great. And now I'm going to use my remaining rockets and if I have to I'll use my super. And there it is, there is the Navota kill. Well, that is it for my solo completion of the Grandmaster Disgrace Nightfall on a Titan. First, I posted a non-commentary run using these same exact weapons on a Warlock, then I posted a commentary run using Anarchy on a Hunter, but I decided I would like to do a commentary run using the weapons I used on my Warlock as well, so you get an idea how I use those. Anyway, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe. I just want to thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.